try to do this one-handed. I've got uh, brass here that's been sized and um, deprimed, uh, trimmed and all that. This is my Lee Precision Melting Pot. Um, it's got a 50-50 mix of potassium um, nitrate and sodium chlorate in it. And then over here I have a bucket of water that I've been pitching the um, hot brass into. You don't have to pitch it in because of temper changes or anything like that, but it keeps the salt from sticking to the brass. Uh, over here, I have a Harbor Freight Multimeter. Uh, it's reading in Celsius, 466 degrees Celsius, which is just getting a touch hot. I actually want it like 450-ish. And then I have a probe um, from Amazon. Uh, inside of the precision melting pot right here, this is a little holder that my friend made me. Um, it's just made out of sheet metal and bolted together. And it allows you to stick the cases in and uh, doesn't let them drop below uh, where you want it. it. Sort of holds them to a liquid level. So I'll just stick one in here. Uh, I only got one hand, so I'm not going to do a whole lot here. Uh, and typically I do this with a metronome. So I'd wait like six seconds and get a rhythm. Um, that, that being said, the time's not super critical because the pot, uh, isn't over your critical temperature of the brass. So you don't have to worry about over annealing the brass because it can't exceed the critical temperature and have any, um, desincification uh, of the brass alloy. So it's pretty foolproof and I can burn through a lot of brass really quick with this method.